Hello and welcome to Will I Like It. Today we're covering Avengers Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron is the sequel to Disney's Super Smash Avengers. It is written and directed by Joss Whedon and stars... Well, it has some stars. You have Air America, In Good Company, Not Another Teen Movie, Dahmer, 13 Going on 30, Coming to America, A Perfect Getaway, Godzilla, 13 Going on 30, and Godzilla. Anybody who has any sort of interest in this film certainly should probably go back and check out the first Avengers. They should do that for a couple of reasons. The most important being Age of Ultron literally starts off with action right off the bat. The movie hits the ground running and all of this setup and character building and all that stuff has been covered in the first Avengers film and here we are rolling right off the bat. So who would like the film? I could be lazy and say anybody who liked the original, but, but there's a bit more to it than that. The original film, while some serious stuff was going on, it never really felt grim. No matter what type of danger was in store, there was still kind of a, a bright, upbeat type of feel to the movie. The sequel has contrast to it. When things are bleak, they actually... Uh, it's strange saying it, but it, it feels a bit more dangerous. Things seem a bit more bleak when things are bleak in the sequel. With that said, it also makes you appreciate the funny parts, which there are quite a few funny parts in the sequel as well. Anybody who enjoys a bit, anybody who wants their film to have a bit of realism, a bunch of people from space and superpowers, I don't know what you're doing here. You should feel good knowing that this, this film feels a bit more like there's some serious danger to a lot of people. It's a bit more grounded and realistic. There's, you, you get a better sense of, of emotion and feelings and why people are doing certain things. There's, there's so much incredible dialogue in this film. I, I feel like this film goes deeper with the grim aspect and deeper with the comedic aspect. The original had a, a general brightness to it, while this sequel certainly has moments that are you know, muddy and bleak and, and pretty down and out. You appreciate the ups and downs a little bit more, I, I would think, in the sequel. Without giving too much away, people who are going off of the trailers and commercials seeing Avengers fighting each other should know that there's a bit more to it than that. There is, that's actually part of the plot line. Uh, the villain, Z, at times, at times there are multiple villains. While it is certainly an Avengers film, it's, uh, I would be remiss to say that one should probably go ahead and check out some Iron Man movies as well. This certainly has a, a soul and backbone based on a bunch of the events and information learned in the Iron Man series. If you're going into this movie absolutely blind, I would suggest seeing at least Avengers and perhaps at least Iron Man 1, if not the first and second Iron Man. I would feel that those are most crucial to have an idea of exactly what's going on. Who wouldn't like the film? Uh, like I said, it's, it's a little bleak, so perhaps somebody who, who likes their, their comic movies to be cheery and, and, and up and colorful. Um, I mean, this is a sequel. You should know how you feel about the first film. Uh, it's an extension of that. It, it lit, the movie literally carries off and extends the first film and, and we carry on some storylines and and the, the film is awfully meta in the way it covers uh, certain things going on, people who aren't there anymore. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it's a very similar film to the first movie. If you think about Back to the Future, the way the second one felt a lot similar to the first one, think about that here with Avengers. There are different characters, there's different things going on, but it is a very similar type of story uh, base. If, if you don't like big blockbuster movies, if, believe it or not, there's, there's a lot of, of character development. There's, there's some snappy dialogue here, so uh, it's not just things blowing up, although that, that is the heavy base of the film. Uh, you know... However you feel about the first one, you'll have an extension of that here. Uh, it's really hard to, to tell people what and what not to do when a movie's a sequel. You could literally go out and check out the first one. Very rarely do films contrast 
from a, from film to film in a series. Uh, if you do not want my opinion, please stop right now. Otherwise, here is Did I Like It? Did I Like It? Yes. Um, most people that I know have seen it prefer the first one, but I actually, I like this one better than the first one. Um, it's hard to talk about this without giving spoilers away because it, it, you really kind of hit the ground running and then within within 20 minutes you you have the basis of the story and where we're going. Uh, Ultron is the villain. <laughs> His name is in the title. Uh, they do a lot of neat things. He's, he's awfully snappy and uh, comedic. He, he's like a artificial intelligence in put into a, a being, if that makes sense. Uh, awfully human sounding. I, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I, I enjoy funny things. And, you know, it was a funny AI, very sharp and snappy artificial intelligence. And it's just, it's just so, so sharp with, with the meta references. And, you know, if someone's not there, they definitely they 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 don't forget about it. They don't try to hide it. They'll they'll cover their ass, or at least they try to. And you know, it's I appreciate things like that. You know, I I like big dumb action movies, and this is it's is this isn't dumb. This is this is big, smart, and a lot of fun. You will notice that at no point did the chart of mine for the year pass by. That is because this is my favorite film of the year. We're going to do this every time something new takes the first spot, and this film is my favorite film of the year so far. Uh, later on, we'll release a spoiler-filled uh, review, and perhaps you can look at that to get a better idea of how I felt about the film and what I enjoyed about it. But for the most part, I will tell you guys that, yes, I, I very much enjoyed it. It's, it's so far my favorite film of the year. I, I love summer movies. I, I think I like summer movies more than anything. And this, what a way to kick it off. Uh, like I said, some people don't like this as much as the first one. I like this better than the first one, but, you know, thoughts are early. It's, it's always hard to go on your first instinct. So hey, there it is. So far, my favorite film of 2015. Uh, please, guys, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Do you disagree? Is it not your favorite? Uh, thanks for the support. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.